Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today the Piaggio Vespa GTS 300 how to lock your crash helmet securely and safely and stop it from getting wet. Right, should we just get cracking? Woohoo! And as it's a beautiful day I'm just going to go for a really short ride. Whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about the things that I love about my Vespa GTS 300 IE Super. Let's just pull over at the side of the road here nice safe place to stop and it's a beautiful summer's day let's just put it on the centre stand never use the side stand just take my gloves off and take my crash helmet off now if you're lucky enough to have a top box like me you can store your crash helmet in the Piaggio official Vespa top box and there's plenty of space in here oh better just take my eggs out but a lot of people haven't got this top box and I have to say it is a little bit ugly and I agree it doesn't make it look very nice. Let's just open up the seat and look at the under seat storage here. Now I've got a medium full faced crash helmet and as you probably know if you've been watching some other videos a medium full faced helmet will not fit under here. Apparently a Piaggio open face helmet does fit in here but no matter what way you swing it you will not get a full face crash helmet under here. So if you're going out for the day you want to lock it securely what you can do is if you go to the front of the seat here you'll notice you've got two little divots, one on either side. This enables you to lock two crash helmets up securely. Well, as secure as anything can be. So take your crash helmet and you'll notice you should have a metal ring on it. Most crash helmets do have this. Now what you do is you just slide that over the top of that divot. Whilst I'm doing that, there's a link above now about how to change the battery on this Vespa GTS 300. Right, that's now nice and secure on there. Now what you do is you close the seat, but clo obviously close it gently, and that is now secure. And then you can just go off and do what you want to do. So I'm just going to go for a quick walk in this beautiful field in England. But then it starts raining. It's absolutely chucking it down with rain. But hold on, I hear you say you said that you could store your crash helmet securely so that it wouldn't get wet. Well, when you come back to your Vespa, open up the seat, do it very carefully. I would suggest that you put one hand on the crash helmet and one hand on the seat. Obviously, I'm filming and I can't do that because you do not want the crash helmet to fall. Now, what you've got at the front of the seat underneath is there is a small hole and inside here is a seat cover for if it rains. Now what you can do is you can actually put this over your crash helmet. So just pull it all the way out. You can put that around your crash helmet nice and tight. Whilst I'm doing that there's a link above now about how to change the oil and the oil filter on this Vespa GTS 300. Look, you've got a nice rain cover for your crash helmet. Absolutely fabulous. When you get back to the Vespa, you can just put the rain cover back underneath the seat. It basically just pushes in. Remove your crash helmet gently. Close the seat and then go for a little ride again. If you've got two crash helmets, as I said earlier, you can store those on both those divots. And there's a link above now about how to tighten the mirrors on a Vespa GTS. And I have to say, riding this Vespa is an absolute pleasure. It really is a lovely ride. Picks up beautifully, great acceleration, twist and go. Absolutely fantastic. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.